Hello everyone, Devjyoti here from OECD.com and today in this video tutorial I will teach you how to create certificate and attach that certificate with the course in Tutor LMS. So for that I have to come to the dashboard. In my previous video I already discussed how to create the course. Now certificate feature is only available in the pro version of the Tutor LMS. At present I have only Tutor LMS that is a free version. So now I have to upgrade it to a pro version. So for that what I have to do? As you know, I am building this website in the local server. So let me open my computer and from there I install the exam in the C drive. So I am opening the C drive and there I have to open exam and after that I have to open htdocs. Now my folder name is tutor as you can see here. So I am opening this tutor and after that I am opening this WP content. After that I have to open the plugins. Now just pause the video and go to the video description there you will get a link click on that link and you have to download two files one will be tutor lms certificate builder and another one will be tutor lms pro version 2.0 so first of all open the tutor lms 2.0 this type of zip file will open so from there drag and drop this tutor pro to plugins like that after that close that next you have to open this tutor LMS certificate builder now just drag and drop it also like that once done close them after that I have to come to the dashboard and click in the plugins now I have to click in the inactive now from here I have to click in this plugins and from this drop down I have to select activate and click in the apply option next you have to refresh the page once so as you can see here it's become tutor LMS pro but when I am hovering on that, the certificate option is not coming. So for that, I have to click in the add-ons. So many add-ons are available. From here, I have to enable this certificate option. And again, I have to refresh the page once. Now here you can see, this certificate option is coming. Click on that. By default, as you can see here, no certificate is available. For creating the certificate, I have to click in this add new option. After that, this page will open that contains so many certificate template at the top here you can see the layout of the template landscape and portrait so according to your need you have to choose the layout suppose i need a landscape one so first of all let me tell you how to edit a existing template and after that i will teach you how to create a template suppose i need this template so here i am clicking use this template so this page will open and everything is editable here suppose i want to edit this line just click on that and i'm writing congratulations on complete of again course title after that here you can see student name is available here completed on and course duration everything is available suppose i does not want this signature i want another signature so i'm clicking on the replace option and from the media library i'm selecting my own signature click in the select option and just adjust that it's very easy like that you can adjust it and after that i need to edit this text also so i want ceo comma after that i am writing my company name means web SEO tips after that if you make it center aligned always you can do that also like that so it's done here after that suppose i want to change the logo also click on that and click on the replace suppose i need this logo click in the select option now if you want to resize it you can always do that like that after that if you want to change this image always you can do that also even if you want to change the qr code always you can do that also even if you does not want you just delete it suppose here i want to insert one image click on the media suppose i want this image i am drag and drop it here and after that i am resizing it and after that i am placing the image here like that in the library so many batches are available suppose i want this one just drag and drop it here like that everything is available suppose i want this one here so just drag and drop it here like that so once done you have to click in the publish option so my certificate is ready after that i have to click in this cancel option or cross option so as you can see here my certificate is ready but the name is not displaying it's coming untitled template so just click in the edit option now you have to click in this template option and here i have to give the certificate name i am giving the certificate name as certificate one and after that again i have to click in the publish option so again click in this cancel or cross option as you can see here 
now it's coming as certificate one now let me teach you how to create a custom made certificate so for that again i have to click in this add new option so from here no need to choose any template click outside first of all come back to the template and here i am giving the template name as my template after that i have to click in the updating or publish option next i have to choose a background so for that i have to click in this backdrops so here you can see so many background is available click on the view wall suppose i am taking this design it's really looking awesome so after that i need a logo so for that come back to the media so in my file here you can see this logo is available just drag and drop it here like that now if you want you can resize it but i am keeping it as it is if you want to decide just drag it like that so next i need a text so come back to the elements drag and drop it here like that and my text will be certificate of completion just align it center like that after that i need a divider so again click in the library suppose i am taking this divider click on that drag and drop it here like that now if you want to resize always you can do that next i need another text so you can come back to the elements click on the text and this time my text will be this certificate is present to again i have to make it center aligned i need a little bit smaller font size so click in the t option and i am making it around 24 if you want to change the font family always you can do that also from here suppose i want this one next click outside and after that aligned it properly decrease the size little bit like that i think now it perfectly center aligned next i need the student name so here you can see the student name just drag and drop it here like that i want the student name should be little bit bigger in front size so click in this and suppose i am choosing around 48 after that i have to resize this one okay i think now it's perfect again aligned it center like that so after that again i need a divider so come back to the library suppose this time i need this divider i am placing it here like that again i need another text click on the elements and click in the text drag and drop the text like that and this time my text will be for completing resize it and here i need the course title so click in the course so here you can see the course title just drag and drop it here and i want it should be little bit bigger in front size around 40 or 36 again i have to resize it and i'm placing it here just expand it little bit because sometime the course title is little bit bigger so after that just make it left aligned here i think better to give a colon like that again i need another text layer again click in the text drag and drop it here like that and here i am writing on and after that i need the time of the completion so just drag and drop the time here here also i have to increase the font size a little bit suppose i am taking 40 after that align it properly i am making it center aligned so it's done here let me take another divider suppose this one drag and drop it here like that so now i need a signature so for that i have to click in the element so here you can see the signature click on that drag and drop the signature here click in the upload option i already upload my signature here that is my signature click in the select option increase the size little bit i think that's perfect next i need an image also click in the media if you want to upload your image always you can do that just resize it so i'm placing the image here next i need a divider click in the library scroll down suppose i am taking this divider drag and drop the divider here like that after that i have to resize it little bit because i need little bit smaller size i think this size is perfect next i need a text layer also again come back to the elements and click in the text drag and drop it here like that first of all decrease the size i want suppose the size should be 16 pixel and here i am writing ceo comma and my company name i am making it center aligned okay now it's perfect so once done you have to click in the publish option so in this way you can create your own template also for the certificate now i'll teach you how to attach this certificate into the course again come back here and click in this cross option so now click in the courses i already created this course let me open that scroll down now in the downside of the course here you can see the certificate option is available here and whatever the certificate i already create you can see here suppose i am using this one so click in this use this scroll up and i have to click in the update option now let me check this certificate is working or not so for that copy the url let me open it in a private window because i have to log in as a student open the course click in the enroll course so i don't have any id so i have to register now 
click on the register now option so that is the student registration form so here you have to enter all the information after filling all the information i have to click in this register option so i already successfully registered and logged in now i can start the course i have to click in this start learning option that is a free course so i don't have to purchase the course suppose i already did the first lesson i am clicking on that mark as completed now come back to the next lesson one by one i have to click on this option mark as completed again this lesson also i have to click on the mark as completed even in the next topic also there is a lesson here also i have to click on that mark as completed next one quiz will appear click in the quiz one so that is the quiz title that is the quiz summary and after that i have to click in the start quiz so which country are the giza pyramid in that is in egypt i am selecting this and click in the submit and next after that india lies in which continent that will be asia after that again i have to click in the submit quiz option that is the result of the quiz i already passed the quiz as you can see in the result total number of question was two and the correct answer is also two and i get 100 out of 100 percent mark if you want to start the quiz again again i have to click in the start quiz option but i don't want that so let me close it after that i have to click in this option complete course for completing this course it asking the rating if you want you can give that now here you can see the view certificate option is displaying here click on that as you can see here my certificate is creating now so as you can see here the course name automatically displaying here even the student name also displaying here course completed on that is also displaying even the course duration also displaying here everything is working perfectly not only that from the dashboard also if you click in the enroll course so here also you can see the download certificate option is available if you click on that from here also you can download the certificate this certificate will appear and by using this option easily you can download the certificate suppose you want your certificate should be in pdf format so hover on that and click in the pdf so as you can see here my certificate is already downloaded in from a pdf click on that so you can see this pdf certificate is open here like that so hope you understand how to create the certificate and attach the certificate with the course i'm ending the video tutorial here if you have any kind of doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you have a nice day